Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. Today we are getting the third part of Canto 7, so I figured I'd do the Hard Mirror Dungeon beforehand once again. And we're going to try and get some Barbarota synergy going, hopefully. So I've got a team that's good for inflicting bleed, but not like stupid insane damage. We've still got some insane damage dealers here, but like no ring song, right? That's the main one I've uh, neglected to bring so that our damage isn't, you know, too off the charts insane, right? And we're going to see how this goes. I've only got a bit of an interesting team choice here. Definitely a bad one. But, like, could potentially see some synergy, maybe? Let's roll. I like to gamble. Oh, but you get a Floor 1 Gossip BM. Like, I know a Floor 1 Muzzle is a smarter move to go, but I think I'll take off Floor 1 Gossip BM. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so the team's going to be a little bit weird here. Oh, this is actually nice. We've got a fair bit of pride on a bleed team. We will take that. I can't really get Bar Road to send you for that. Okay. So we're going to try double slotting you, I think, right? I think that's going to be the general plan we go for. Um, Just because I think it'll be, like, the smartest move, right? Other than that, uh, we'll have to do it like this, right? Something like that. Should we just go six normally? I think we should just go six normally. I think that'll work well. I could just, like, make it, like... Or five normally. I could make it six normally and just, like, remove one person occasionally, but I think this will work better for us. So, Bar Road is, of course, her entire gimmick is Blood Feast, right? We stack enough Blood Feast, uh, the floor gets all bloody, and then we're chilling. We've started with um, Maximum Wish of Stars, so we can get, you know, Gossipium immediately. Because Gossipium is our best way to get Turn 1 Blood Feast, right? Because Turn 1 Blood Feast... Is really hard to get because you just do not get it because the enemies do not have nearly enough bleed against like abnos and stuff. You can by just like mo going multiple people like into the same slot, but, like in normal fights, which is where really it's really where um Barbara shines the most because of her like mass section shenanigans. Uh, but she can't really do too much with it there, which is unfortunate. So instead. Also, we'll be able to get some nice blood feast with that, hopefully. We're just bopping the skill three here, just because uh, there's not really reason to save it up here. If we can get some, like, chain fights, we could definitely get some synergy going. There are a couple of various chain fights here and there. Like, if we wanted to be real funny, we could try going for, like, a Murder in the Warp Express final floor. But with a bleed team, you're really never going... You're never going to win a clash if you do that on a bleed team, though, so, uh... You know, pick your poison. Okay, we did some bleed damage there, so I think we... Yeah, we're up to ten, uh... Scissor Blades now, thanks to spending 60 Blood Feast with your skill 2. So now you're getting all sorts of benefits and stuff, and a little bit of defense level down. Between uh, 10 and 20, you do lose a little bit of defense level with the Blood Feast, but I mean, that's a fair enough trade-off. Yeah, you can see, you know, it's it started to get a little bloody since there's some Blood Feast, but there's not too much yet. We also do want Lust Resins, not just because of Whistles, even though Whistles is nice. She put on the mask, they're very funny. Um, but also just because we can trigger Otis' passive there, which is just more of a damage increase based on how much Blood Feast she's consumed that fight. So once again, synergy with longer fights. Definitely looking forward to how she's going to fare in like part 3 of the Kanto. She was decent in part two, that's for sure. Especially against the Grunts, she could definitely get some good skill three stuff going. But obviously, like every time there's a new ID, they're kind of like balanced around the new Kanto, right? Figured I'd do that just so we can get the whistles, just to make sure everyone's nice and topped off on sanity. Not the biggest deal, but still nice. I just think it's good to get our Sandy up and running fast. We'll get some fully damage here. Hook Hong was especially really nice for us here, um, because, well, he's fast, right? You kind of want Otis to be slower. We, we we can't really make use of it here, but if she's slower than everyone else, turn two, we can clash some people, get Blood Feast number pumped a little bit before she uses her skill so she can actually get it up. So you do kind of want more fast ideas. So I was definitely considering, like, maybe, like, a Rhino Merso or something, but, like... I think I decided against it just because he doesn't have a lot of coins. He's not that good at setting up lead. Although we really don't need a lot of help setting up lead with a team like this, right? Yeah, we'll see what exactly we can get going with Barbarotus here. I like her. A lot more simple of a design than I was like, expecting before we got her. But it works really well, that's for sure. We're going to get Priest Gregor next week, so that'll be interesting. We'll see how that's going to go. He's probably going to be bleed rupture. Probably more folks on bleed, but if he's decent for rupture teams, that would be nice. We'll see. One more fight this floor, that's fine. We'll live.
어떤 시간과 공간에 계시는 관리자님이 들을지 몰라도 그때를 we can get your thing. Your passive isn't super good most of the time, honestly. It's not something they worry about too much. Clash against Stone Target, Clash Power plus one. Stone Target's only afflicted by your skill too. More damage for every ten blood he's consumed. Definitely can be nice, that's for sure. But like, you need two hundred blood if he's consumed to get the max. It's a pretty, it's a pretty slow ramp up. But in longer fights, you can definitely get a decent bit up. And then more damage based on the entire max 10%. She's, it's just, it's mostly just some more damage increasing stuff. It's not super useful though. Nice to have, but not something that'll, you know, change, you know, the flow of time or something. I don't know. Don't really think that's a phrase people say, but, you know, just making sure you don't think it's going to change the flow of time. I really hope you weren't expecting it to, but in case you were, uh, sorry to burst your bubble. Apologies. Yeah, hopefully we get some bleed next turn. Like us, if you immediately is also going to be nice for just getting the bleed damage off for more blood feast. We just pop that in you. Yeah, sure. Might as well. Yeah, some bleed. You should just kill this guy, so that's nice. Cool. Good old murder. And then, yeah, 10 scissor blades. Good to see. Wouldn't be surprised if, like, Priest Gregor ends up having, like, a similar mechanic of, like, using Blood Feast to build up, you know, a unique status effect. Definitely could be, like, the trend among them. I wouldn't be surprised if he, like, uses uh, Blood Feast to give a special status effect to allies or something, though, right? I could see him being an ally buffer. Okay, nice. Free upgrade, love to see it. I had like another one. I don't get one. That's fine. It's not the biggest deal. Deal more damage. That's nice, but it's not something I want to get right now. I want to make sure I can get the fusion gift next floor and stuff, right? Maximize damage numbers. Yeah. That's the hope. These guys should be fine. I'm just gonna whistles immediately. It doesn't matter too much. Did I slot you second or did I slot you third? I think I slot you third, right? Yeah, you didn't get a fanatic. That's fine. Maybe we switch you to second so you actually get a benefit for whistles. Because whistles does give fanatic, which I mean can be nice. It's not the biggest deal though, right? It's just a little bit more power against targets with nails, and she's the only one inflicting nails, so like it's not gonna be super useful in general. Oh, thanks to the fact that this guy hit us a little bit, he's got Vengeance Mark. Um, does not matter since Dawn is not hitting you, but maybe she will. It's not impossible that she hits you, right? Like, if that guy's like, dies prematurely or something? We'll see. I mean, stack some bleed damage up here. That's good to see. I think we should be able to get to 10... Yeah, I think we'll definitely get to 10 Scissor Bleeds from this skill, too, here, because we were at, like, 40 bleed before, so we're at, like, 100 Blood Feast right now. So that's nice. So we'll be able to get the 2 Attack Weight uh, skill 3 off. Not the maximum power, not, you know, with the mask or anything, but should still be good. You do kill a little bit early there, though. Um, is there two enemies left for you to go for? It, it, there is, cool. So yeah, you can um, do a little bit of damage to them. That's nice. Didn't even get the final coin off, which is the one that gets the big damage multiplier. Yeah. That's fine. We're just doing too well for our own good. We get Gossipium. Excellent. We'll be able to upgrade that on floor three. I'll take the cost, since these two don't really help me at all. Even resources, I mean, is nice. Just like a safety thing. Oh, we can go outcast for smoke and wires, absolutely. I will take that. So now we just need to make sure we get uh, as many bleed tier ones as possible here. Ideally muzzle, but I'll take other stuff too. Gold urn this early, yeah. I'll take that. Take that, I'll take you, sure. Uh, poise, do we really want to get poise going? Not particularly. We could definitely get some synergy going, but it's not the biggest deal. Otis skill change, love to see it. Do we do more skill 3s or more skill 2s? Probably more skill 2s. That's the safer play. Change expression. No thanks. Gamble little. Gamble little. Gamble little. No. Probably shouldn't have gambled that much. That's fine. Got a lot of stuff here. And we'll make sure we get more you gets here. So we should be pretty likely to be able to fuse Rusted Muscle next floor, right? Take Phantom Pain. A little bit of SP loss, but that's fine. And pain's nice to have. 
Who knows, maybe we'll be able to fuse respite next floor or something, I don't know. It's, it's possible. You're really getting that off, not gonna do too well. But you can see, so now that we've got it to plus plus, I didn't really show it off next time in the last fight, but because we have Red God Sepian plus plus, all enemies start with four potency. So because of how turn order should go, you're gonna clash against this guy twice, you're gonna do eight damage, so we're actually going to be able to get one scissor blades with that skill too. Isn't that riveting? Like look at that. Look at that, that's eight blood feast. Makes all the difference, trust me. And look at that, one scissor blade notice, so she didn't have to self-bleed herself. Not the self-bleed's like a war like a bad thing whatsoever. It can be nice for getting the blood feast up, even if just a little bit. But um you know, it's it's synergy, right? That's why we don't want Otis to be the fastest as much as possible. She's got like an average speed range, so like she's gonna be the fastest sometimes, that's for sure. Three to seven, I think, yeah, three to seven. Like, here, we're definitely gonna be able to do good. These guys might all die beforehand, though, right? They're not very strong, and, you know, with bleed, they're gonna die to, like, random skill ones and skill twos pretty easily. Yeah, this is a two attack weight, though, so we do actually... We did finish them off thanks to the mass attack thing. Otherwise, there would have just been one left if we didn't have enough blood feast for that to be a mass attack. So, it's been working out for us so far. Like, Barbara's definitely not super good for bleed, like, in general. But, like, in Mirror Dungeon, when Boon Declared exists, anyone who bleed it, anyone who's got bleed on their skills and has a bunch of coins, good enough. Because, like, your, your skill one is, like, theoretically alright bleed count, but only if the target has sewing target, and even then, like, that's... Your skill two of, like, sewing target, and only for a single turn. Max value one, and turn and reduce by one. Like, it's not great. Your skill 2 isn't any bleed count whatsoever. And then your skill 3, also no bleed count whatsoever. Like, her only bleed count is her skill 1 against sewing to people. Like, outside of Mirror Dungeon, you're not going to want to run her on a team that wants to consume bleed whatsoever. Except Sanguine Desire, right? And there's... We're probably getting Dulcinea Rodion at some point in the future. So, like, there's definitely going to be some degree of synergy going on with that. But, mm, we'll see, right? We could have used skill 2, actually. You know, that's probably smarter. We'll skill 3 next turn. Maybe. We'll see. We, we can get that one scissor blade technique going again, right? Uh, you know, the my, my patented single scissor blade turn 1 uh, stratagem. I have a so carefully crafted. It's not good. <laughs> it's really not good, but uh, it's better than nothing. Not, like, by, by a large margin, though. It's, uh... You could definitely debate how much better than nothing it is. We're also going to be using the skill 3 before anything else next turn if I am to use it, right? Because it's in the left slot, so, uh... That's unfortunate. That's fine. I'll pop it anyways, just because it's... Actually, no, I'll go for the big lust res. That's also nice. Dawn doesn't have any lust, but everyone else does, so we can get some decent lust res here and there. Could be good for, like, Contempt Aw, I guess. Could go for, like, the... Five lust absolute res contempt off. No, that's still too much, right? Because if it's, I guess we gotta go for the five non absolute res, or like there needs to be break in the middle for things to dawn or something. If we don't want to get off, con or if we don't want to get a uh, contempt of gaze, right? That's how it works, I think. It's a weird ego. But that's fine. We can get the mass tech there now, so it was worth those skill twoings. So we can hit both them here. You, barely, you almost died to bleed, which would have been unfortunate for this, but you can kill both these guys pretty easily, I want to say. Because this final coin gets a big damage multiplier. Yeah, 4 HP left. Okay, that's close enough. You can finish that one. Cool, you buried your, your Mori Mask for a second there. That's nice. That's something. And take Blood, Sweat, and Tears. More damage. Lost Res for Rupture Potency. I mean, that can do something. Not a big deal. This is Wrath Synergy. How quaint. This is... What's this gonna be? This is a Fusion Fodder. How quaint. So we're gonna make sure we get Rusted Muzzle next turn. Rusted Muzzle's not in any event, so it's pretty easy to get. This is Apple. Okay. We can definitely get some nice Blood Feast stuff going on against Apple. You're fastest. That's really annoying. That's fine. You just gotta pop that here. Sure. We'll just make sure to get as much bleed stacking as possible here, right? 
Well, hopefully not doing too much damage to kill you instantly, although we might. Yeah. I'm bored with Otis with the fastest. Do wish we had better ego gifts for, like, speed control shenanigans. I think that could be a real fun way to get certain strategies working really well, right? If we had, like, maybe, like, an ego gift. I think the ego gifts that only target, like, a certain slot, I feel like we should be allowed to, like, choose who they go to, right? Something like that. I think it'd be cool if we had some ego gifts like that. So, like, if we, we could get one, like, that, like, maybe, like, reduces someone's speed or increases someone's speed just so we can get more synergy going there, right? This actually works pretty well for us. Nice. I do believe we should... Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to get to uh, maximum... Not maximum, but 20 scissors blades. So that'll be good. Because we'll use this one. We've got... Oh, we've only got 40, actually. Right. I was getting a mistake for a second. Um, So not ma not quite as much as I'd like. But there's still a good amount. It's still a good amount, yeah. Yes, yes. That's fine. Yeah, because we're going to get 6 from this one, and we should get 10 from the other one because of the bleed damage we just inflicted there, right? Yeah, cool. And yeah, part's broken, as you'd expect. So we can get, like, a 2 attack weight uh, skill through off. That's good. We just go for the head so we can guarantee we hit both parts. We should still be able to do some pretty good damage. If we clash correctly, we could also, like, theoretically get the Blood Feast going beforehand. Something good like that, right? Right, we're just kind of wailing you for the fun of it now. It's kind of, it feels kind of mean at this point, but, uh, it's funny. So we roll with it. You're fast again. Why are you fast? You're just getting good speed rolls. That's unfortunate. Well, that's fine. We can get... Okay, we can get five blood feasts here. If I do something like this, I believe the skill... One should go first, get some blood feasts going, that sort of thing. Mm hmm. You guys are you're losing that clash. That's unfortunate. We'll just let Hongbu get beaten to death then. That's fine. He can live with it. He can actually dodge them, actually. That's probably slightly smarter. It's... Yes, I want to say so. Yeah, we clash with this because then it should go first, logically speaking. Yes, so we get up to 20 scissor blades. So we have the mask on. So we get, you know, the strongest, like, bracket of skill three, right? And it's hitting both parts because we went for the head primarily. Stacking up some nice bleed in the process as well. That's good. Yeah, 360 damage. Pretty nice. That's for sure. Stacking a little bit of bleed as we do. And, like, the head's broken, so you're going to be immobilized next turn. Not something that, like, White Gossipium changed anything about, because it's immobilized, not staggered. And, yeah, you can get some dodging going, so that's nice. Your nice three haste next turn. So you're definitely going before Otis. Okay, yeah, cool. I was kind of expecting that to not be the case, because uh, I don't trust this game sometimes. But you're good. We're chilling. We do get another skill three off for you here, but uh, not even sure if we do. We could kill here. Maybe. I actually think Otis kills, probably. Doesn't look like we're doing too much damage to some of these, but at the same time, it's not super accurate with some of that sort of stuff. Yeah. I don't think Ryosha kills here. Okay, yeah, cool. So yeah, Otis, you can get the kill. Don't get your, like, fourth coin off. You just get two coins, yeah. But that's fine. Still, you know, nice slice and dice that apple. Some good old apple slices. Like, one of those weird apple slicing, you know apparatuses you see as a kid occasionally don't even know if that's like a widespread thing it probably is like to some degree though right logically never yeah, doesn't help us here we'll take the ethograph healing is nice just for safety really random you gift have this portrait cool um we definitely want to go something that doesn't give us we'll go emotional seduction lust week i mean that's just kind of good for us right and it's one less bleed tier one we can potentially fuse. We've got like what two or three we can fuse, so our odds of odds of getting what we want here seem pretty likely. Especially if we just do a little bit of like whoop. Whoop. If we do tier two, is it a tier two? It is. Okay, yeah. We'll need to fuse away like this then. That's fine. I don't really care for it too much here. Arrested him. Yeah, that's the one thing that it could have been. Makes sense. Do I need to roll like a sixty percent now? I might need to. Unless I wanted to fuse one of those bleed ones again, which... Yeah. You know, we'll gamble a little. I like a good gamble. Muzzle, cool. There's our fusion gift. Love to see it. Took a little bit of a gamble, but uh, what's what's life if not a little bit of a gamble? 
Hey, wait, I'm going to do more fusion thing. Because I could do, like... Something like that, right? Maybe fuse away the, uh... This is not helping Otis particularly. Yeah, sure. Respite, cool. Not, like, the strongest thing, but it's nice to have still. We get more bleed going. We don't need more bleed going. Well, I've normalized a bleed all eyes again. Haste next turn. Sure thing. I'll upgrade that. I'll upgrade that. Those don't matter too much. We don't need more bleed stacking. We're set. We're set. We can just focus on getting Otis more skill this, um, from now on. More eager resources. Nice. That'll add up over time. That's for sure. It's still early floor three. So we'll definitely get like a good mileage out of that one. Yeah. Nice. Okay, some of you guys. Bleed versus bleed. I think I know which bleed's gonna be coming out on top, though. And it is, in fact, us. Yeah, we're doing double damage now that we've got that fusion gift, so, um... Wouldn't be surprised if we do not see much Otis skill 3 in general. Yeah, Rampage just kills. As you'd expect. That's only a neutral food. These guys are weak to Skullbuster, right? Like, two coins. We didn't even get a third coin off on Skullbuster. It was like... It was like... It wasn't even serious. It was like... What's the opposite of serious? Whimsical? Uh, something that's with an S. I don't know. There's probably something out there. And that's not coming to mind, though. Can't think of what best, uh, what's the best thing to call a non-serious Skullbuster. I guess just Skullbuster. I can't think, yeah, I can't think of anything. That's, oh, that's fine, that's fine. There's something out there, that's for sure. Let's see, let me look up Thesaurus for Whimsical. It's a lot of stuff that is doesn't start with S's. Singular. What do you mean singular? Okay. Thesaurus.com is not helping me out here. Let's see, what, what else? What else is there? Shaky? <laughs> Quick's article, alright. You know what? Sure, Quick's article. Quick, if, if that's what it's telling me is a good, like is a good synonym. I think it was saying it was a it was a weak synonym. It was a weak synonym for whimsical, sure thing. Now I'm gonna call I'm gonna call Quixotical. Quixotic's such an annoying and infuriating word. Cause that is how you're supposed to pronounce it. I looked it up like a while back. Cause it's like a it's a skill uh thing in Fire Emblem Fates and I was like, wait, is it pronounced Quixotical? Not Quixotical? But it sure is Quixotical. That's the that's the acronym for Quixote. It means, like, like Don Quixote, right? Actual word, and it's supposed to be pronounced Quixotical for some godforsaken reason. Enjoy my random rant on something that doesn't matter of the day. It does matter a lot, though. It matters to me, right? Oh, cool, we can get NDA here, that's funny. Could be good, could be good. We are running a less than full squad, so like, there's potentially... Maybe I shouldn't let Otis go, because she's getting sacked, yeah. Well, it's fitting that Otis gets sacked by, you know, the Cyclops of all things. I think she should get, like, an innate, like, debuff to it, just for, like, you know, the lore. Do we have any... We don't have any really good funny mass attacks for you, do we? That's annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to mention Shredder Equip, too. That's unfortunate. Well, we do have a good mass tech. We just need to build it up, and that is not good to build it up. You are on the brink of being staggered already. Okay, I think we need to clash everything here, very unfortunately. Um, You take that one just so you don't lose the clash and die. That would be less than favorable. We can do a bit of that. We can execution that guy because I don't like him. And we're having Dawn go for that because uh, she is tanky. If anyone can handle it, it's probably her. Oh yeah, you get healing because you're a blood fiend. I kind of forgot about that. Hasn't really mattered too much because you don't get hit too much. But yeah, you do have a lot of healing just innately on like all your skills. So that's quaint. But seriously, though, why why is it quixotical? Who decided that? Did they did like the person who come up with like using that term? 
Did they not know how to pronounce Kyote? Like, were they like, oh yes, this is Don Quixot. I will call this Quixotical. Like, it's it's probably is genuinely something along those lines, though. It you, usually that is how it goes. You want to do a bit of that? Sure thing. You can get a skill three next turn. Sure thing. You can get some hit you with some Pierce attack, so the chicken bucket should probably go down there. So that's nice. Sure, send that. We're getting the whistles going, so that's more sanity for Otis. That's good. She does did need it a little bit. So that's nice. You know, I'm I'm gonna look it up. Like, like, I'm gonna play it on Google, right? Quixotic. Like, that's how you're supposed to pronounce Quixotic. Like... Who came up with this? Who, who did this? <laughs> I don't know, but it, it's... It infuriates me to no end, and I'm glad this random train of thought has allowed me to rant about it. It's just one of those things that really grinds my gears, as they say. We go unchanging, and then we could grab Broken Class. We get that fusion gift. We need to get the Umbrella if we want to get that, but that sounds funny. I don't think I've gone to the unchanging floor in, like, months, because I can't remember the last time I fought either Don Grang. Sure thing, this would be very quixotic of us. Very quixotic Skullbuster. Let's get another quixotic Skullbuster, shall we? Shall we? Shall <laughs> I just hit my elbow really hard onto the dog crate I keep right next to my bed for my dog. And I can no longer feel anything in my pinky. <laughs> okay. We're fi I'm fine. I'm fine. It'll... it'll the, the feelings will come back sooner or later. They must. I'm feeling a little lightheaded now. No, I don't want bleed. I want rupture. I want to be able to get the other thing for the... Uh, it's a ruptured tier two, yeah. The umbrella. I'd like, I'd like the umbrella. I think there's the umbrella. Cool. We can sell. Uh, we can sell lowest star for because I don't particularly feel like we necessarily need that. Sure thing. We'll be able to fuse uh, the unsent letter next floor. It's rupture, isn't it? Why do I want it? <laughs> I think things are going. Things are going all over the place right now. Okay. Okay. It, 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 yeah, yeah? Is that so? Is that so? I'm losing my mind. As you can tell, I'm really excited for uh, Kanto 7 Part 3 to come out. You know, the end of, you know, Don Quixote's Quixotic Adventures. <sighs> my pinky's still feeling a little weird, but I'm slowly getting feeling back in it. Yeah, there's a little bit of mark there. That's, that's fine. A little bit of mark on my elbow from, you know, hitting the dog crate. That's fine, that's fine. I don't even know what else I've been talking about this entire time. There's whistles, that's nice. We don't actually get any benefit from it because we still don't have Dawn in the, or we don't have uh, Faust in the second slot, so she's not even getting, you know, the Fanatic. But we're triggering it. We're getting the funny, you know things to show up there's really not been like any effect in the game quite like whistles it's very it's very unique how it's got you know that you know unique little ui thing with it just showing up a bunch of like little music note things and how you know grip sync there does a little laugh when it triggers if he's on the field really there's been nothing quite like it it reminds me a lot of uh tomri's uh special attack thing from uh Ruina, right? When you know all like the different shapes show up when she's when they're going for like the like the triangle attack or whatever. Whatever it is. Like mm, maybe triangles, or oh, squares it is, or whatever, right? You may not know what I'm doing what I'm talking about even if you played Ruina, because like it's very plausible you just kinda killed Tomri before they had the chance to do that. Or they got them to second phase before they had a chance to do that, just because it's a fairly simplistic fight. You can just kinda gun them down. It's how it frequently goes, right? You know, some sanity from your Quixotic Skullbuster, that's fine.
Yeah, I don't... We don't know what to say at this point. Oh, there's already been so much said. This is probably just going to be purely gloom, a Pecatula. Based on the sin weaknesses and stuff. Yeah, it's the four gloom guys in the T-Corp area. Fitting enough. Uh, who are we not doing too much damage with? And I feel like we're doing pretty good damage with most people. I guess we'll double up you, since that is uh, a gloom skill. Something that's resisted. Nice. You're gonna load with haste up next turn, that's good to see. I mean, everyone's gonna be getting a little bit of haste up every turn because of uh, the shenanigans we have, right? Maybe we should go for more haste. Maybe we should try and get, like, something random. I don't know, we're going to be getting unsent litter at the end of the next floor once we fuse it. Um, it's not going to do anything for us, but we're going to get it. And, you know, that's what counts, I'd say. You know what else counts? That's right, Count Dracula, everyone. We've got him live in the flesh for, you know, today's special episode of Daily Mirror Dungeon. Yes, it is me, Dracula! That's a 41, that's quite quaint. That guy sure does have a lot of debuffs thanks to uh, White Goss IPM. So anyways, what were you saying, Dracula? Yes, it is me, Dracula. Yeah. Do not worry why I sound like a Russian Kermit the Frog. It is just what Dracula sounds like, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's, it's, co it's cool to see you, Dracula. Yeah. How's your... How's your... Uh, How's your Halloween been? Oh, it's all, it is, it is great. It is the one time of year I can freely go around, you know, the, the country and uh, not be killed for being a vampire because they think I'm just really in the spirit. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice, Dracula. How, how's your wife? Oh, it did it, not, not looking good. She exploded. She got the exploding virus. Oh, man. That's, that sucks to hear. Hope she gets better. No, no, she ex she exploded. Oh, man. Hope she gets better. E e oh, yes, well, all right. You know what? I'm, I am heading out now. In enjoy your daily mirror dungeon. Yes, th thanks, Dracula. Bye, bye. Well, it was nice of him to show up, wasn't it? Quite the, quite the charming character, isn't he? That Dracula fellow. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess by the, the point where this video has been uh, released, I guess I'm gonna be like about it's I'm gonna be streaming uh, the finale of Runa soon, right? If you're watching this, you know, shortly after a release, which you're probably not, uh, maybe you are. Maybe you're watching it during maintenance or something. I don't know, if you are watching this during maintenance, though, I am streaming, you know, the finale of Ruina, you know. Last stream, I kind of goaded my way through Keter Realization, did the entire, like, Keter Realization within two hours, you know, first trying everything, like the gamer I am, despite having, you know, not touched it for, you know, over three years. So, uh, it's, uh, Distorted Ensemble time, and we'll hopefully beat the game, assuming I don't throw super hard against them. We'll see. Yeah, like, Ru Rune is fun. I'm glad I had this chance to replay it, you know. I've got a better appreciation toward Keter Realization, because it really wasn't too bad for me. I might have gotten really lucky. It might have been because I was using, like, a decent, like, decent build. I didn't look anything up, I just kind of threw some random stuff together, but I suppose it was decent because it was working well, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this is... I think this is... This is, this is Farm Watch, isn't it? I don't have music prepared. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to mute the music here, and, uh... You know, while we're... We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll set the music up, right? That sort of thing. Why does YouTube look like this? Okay. It's being weird. It's being weird. Let's, uh... Well, this is a good fight to set up uh, some Blood Feast, you know? Maybe we could do a little bit of Contempt Dying. A little bit of Lust Resonance. Yeah, yeah. Definitely cannot afford to be hit by a lot of those. 
Oh, is anyone being attacked super hard? You are? Okay. Shouldn't be that surprised, I suppose. You've got... I have resonance attack weight max 6. Okay, cool. We'll try going for that, then. Might as well. Uh, you're being hit a bit. I mean, I think that's fine. We'll just make sure we redirect, like, one of those, maybe, right? Like, do this. Maybe we soup up for more lost resonance? Yeah. Love some good old soup. Okay, sure thing. I'll get music in the background, uh... While this is going on. I've got just the theme. I'm not paying attention. Hopefully I'm not, like, dying horribly or something. I've got the perfect thing, though. To celebrate Dracula's uh, recent visit. How are we looking? Oh, we killed a bleed there. I mean, that's a little unfortunate. This is far too loud, isn't it? There we go. Bit of a different song than usual. I think, did we get you to, oh no, I'm thinking differently. It's a little lower, cause like, yeah. You're, you're close to your HP threshold, I wanna say. So that's nice. I don't think anyone's being doubled up here. Okay, the trees are killing themselves. This is very accurate to the real life climate we're living in, isn't it? That's pretty awesome. Like, nature is, like, collapsing in on itself or something. Pretty awesome. World's falling apart, you know, that sort of stuff. You know, it's, it's uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Don't know why I'm losing my mind today so much more than, like, most days. How close are you to your threshold? There's the threshold. Okay, cool. That's all? That's not all yet. Uh, we still got a bit more of the fight left game. You're, you're kind of jumping the gun a little bit with that one. Get some Sandy back on you, nice. That's good. And you're gonna get a 20 scissors here, so that's nice. And you're killing these guys with your scissors, so that's nice. Put on the mask as soon as it clashes one, aren't you? Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Well, you can uh, make a new dress now, that's pretty awesome. Please be my nutrient. Uh, I'll pass, I think. Not really my interest, honestly. I appreciate, you know, you being uh, so forward about it, but uh, no, I'll pass. We'll just clash that, sure. That's a bad idea, but I think that's funnier than, like, doing a good clash. I know we theoretically could have, like, skull-busted the mass attack or something, probably, but, uh, sanity moment, right? Okay, you're resisting that a little bit, all of your pride weeks, you're only kind of resisting it. Do some damage to the trees here. Oh, they're just dead. I kind of didn't particularly want to kill them, because I wanted the mass attack off with, uh, Otis, but that's fine. Okay, that one's not dead, at least. We should be able to hit that one with the skill 3. You know, 25 scissor blades. I think we're going to kill you with, like... Oh, no, we're not going to kill you prematurely, actually. I think we're going to kill you with the actual fourth coin, which is going to do a lot of damage. You're, like, okay, you're 30 HP. Almost. If we actually had, like, five more scissor blades, it would have killed... Okay. I've got a funny idea. Let's just keep the music playing. Headstrong, sure thing. Let's just go over the rest of the run with this music. It's kind of a banger. It's, you know... It, well, like, Halloween's in, like, a week, right? If you get the fragment from this, that's funny. We didn't, darn. Let's keep the Halloween music going. You want an evil defining? Oh, uh, why not? I feel like I went here last week, but uh, it's because it's a fun floor to go. We'll see which of the two we get. And we won't need to mute the music or anything if we get Gas Harpoon, because, uh, well, we'll be ready already. Ready? Already? Ready already. Pick the leg. Do I have Nebulizer or no? I think Nebulizer was an option. I think I just turned off, right? 
Kermil, Sharp. I can get some decent mileage out of it at this point, honestly. I'd like an Otis skill change, I think. Give her another skill 3, that could be nice. Uh, if I don't get it, though, I think I'm fine just moving on. I'm not too concerned. We're already pretty strong as is. This is pretty bad for us. I'm actually not sure how this works with, like... Uh, Ryoshi, right? Like, will it take three, like, randomly from, like, one of them? Or is it is it going to be, like, split between the two randomly? Or I actually don't know how that works. Hmm. Interesting question, I suppose. But one that may never be answered, depending on, uh... How the, how the dice of fate land, as they say. Good luck, mate. Thank you. You're my biggest fan, Heathcliff. Okay. You got staggered by that, that's unfortunate. I guess they're not like particularly surprising, uh that's kinda of rude. So I guess it's kinda of surprising on that front. So you're doing some nice damage there. Do we just kill this one straight up? It's staggered, right? Close. Very close actually. If we had like the bear or something we could have killed. That's fine. We'll have you clash that just to make sure you get the kill, right? Uh, something like that. Oh uh, sure. That'll work. We've got enough blood feast stacked up that we can get, you know, some good scissor blades going here. I think they're all dead this turn, I wanna say. Because we're doing a lot of damage, but I could be wrong. Bleed kills them all, yeah. It's just bottom right left who uh, doesn't have too much bleed. But sure is being doubled up, and is taking a st of gripping while staggered, and is weak to lust thanks to being a wrath pick to us, so yeah, very dead. Okay, that's fine. That's true, Angela. Okay, this is just gonna be a generic palette. Mermaids, I do believe. Pierce, Envy, Pride, that's just Pallid Mermaids, right? Yeah, some of these random guys too, but that's that's fine. Pallid Mermaids and Friends. Friends being four pirates. You know, sometimes that's all a Pallid Mermaid needs for a friend though, right? They're staggered again. No, they're not staggered again. Why are they sometimes staggered again and sometimes not by Carmilla? It is super inconsistent and I still really do not get it. And, you know, I probably never will. Part of the fun, I guess. Yeah, they all just died from clashing there. Yeah, that's what happens when you can stack some bleed on them while they're staggered. They're not taking a lot of damage, but, I mean, once they get unstaggered... Alright, Gossipium, that's why they were unstaggered. Right! I'm running a bleed team. Right! Hopeless? Being too considered having hope. Hmm. Wanna just evade? You're no, you're probably not evading that. Uh, don't know if you're clash winning that though, unless you like even fluid sec doesn't work. Everlasting's not okay. Well you need to just dodge here because you've got no chance of winning that clash, it seems, just like ever. So, um you know you did your best. And uh we'll never forget you, Faust. Until I do. I won't forget you until that point, yeah. Look at us throw a scissor, that's pretty cool. Don't know why I say scissor singular, since it's two. Well, I guess one of them is an actual scissor and the other one's made of blood, right? It's like a metal scissor and like a hard blood scissor. And you even see in like her like, uh... And like Barbara herself's like, defeated sprite, you can see like the, the hard blood scissor kind of like, melted and stuff because she lost her powers weakened or something 
Whatever's going on with hard blood, right? Pretty cool, pretty pretty cool detail. Because obviously it gets stronger, you know, with you know her scissor stacks and stuff. And same for actual Barbara, nice dodge. Uh, and I mean that like genuinely, like you did a good dodge there. You know, I really respect that. Not a lot of people dodge me these days, so you know it's kind of humbling when it happens. This guy has not been one sided yet. He has no bleed beyond what red uh, Gossipium does. We really need to get another Skill 3 unnoticed, huh? Look at all that blood in the ocean, though. Like, it's a good thing that there's no, like, sharks that we're aware of. Uh, in the There's no, like, pallid sharks, I guess. We know sharks exist to, like, some degree, because whatever is going on with Dream and Current being, like, a freaky shark guy. Ram Tier 3, sure thing. Sun Shower, that's actually not bad. Hmm. Uh, so you gives, or we could just get two levels on everyone. You know, that sounds nice. Can anyone pass this? We can't, right? Because it's Envy or Gluttony, yeah. <laughs> that works. And one last thing, it's just more pallid mermaids. This is the lead one, though, so it's like two big ones and like three small ones. Like two big ones and some like grunts, right? Something like that. No, it's no big ones, actually. It's just three of these guys and then, you know, three politified things. I didn't know until recently, like, I didn't realize there was, like, a politified tag. Real interesting, that's for sure. I'm not sure if they, like, have some sort of... Yeah, it's because of this tag, I guess. Now, these guys are never alongside non-politified enemies, so... Or allies, yeah, enemies, so, like, it could have just said any allies. And it would have been the exact same effect. But, like, they went with a tag just for, like, the, like, like further, uh, like, purpose or something. That's cool. <laughs> nice, cool. Doing some good stuff, should be able to kill them all here. So that's good. The bleed isn't great, of course. Uh, but like, they're still super dead. And if they aren't super dead, they'll be super dead soon. How did we inflict so little bleed last turn? What happened last turn? I was lost in thought again, so I'm actually not fully sure what happened last turn, but I feel like there should have been at least more. That would have asked like there were more enemies left, but there weren't. Okay, I think that was the last fight of the floor, though, so I think it's on to the shop. Um, if my eyes weren't playing tricks on me, and I never know. I feel like today I, my brain's been pulling a lot of tricks on me. Like, I'm not fully sure if Dracula, that was actually Dracula showed up earlier. Could have been Nosferatu. I wouldn't know the difference. Or maybe I would. Maybe I knew it was Nosferatu and I lied to, you know, raise, you know, viewer inter interaction. Nothing we get in Nebulizer, that's not bad. And by that I mean it's uh, not bad because we can uh, fuse it, right? I mean, get some good fusion gifts going. You know, this is the most of, like, the hard mode exclusive fusion gifts you can get in one run. Because you can only get two of them. You unfortunately can't get both of these alongside, uh, Nelly's one. You can only get two out of three, the three ever, because they're only on floor four or fives. Uh, it doesn't matter what we choose here. We're going to go for sinking, though. So we need umbrella and glasses. There's unsent letter. This is just a rupture eel gift. I guess when classing the name of Slower Speaking, you find a player and deal more damage. That's nice. You know, there's some benefits. I think that's just what the glasses does normally, but it's something. And then the leg and this, we get this. Which is uh, nice, I guess. I'm not really sure. Do we heal everyone here? We don't know if we're getting Piquad Trio or uh, Gas Harpoon yet. We're getting Gas Harpoon, though. Alright, that's fine. It's pretty easy to kill Gas Harpoon with bleed. And Otis is getting the unsent letter. Would you look at that? Maybe it's from Penelope. Ooh! This is pretty fitting Ahab music, too. You know, maybe I should just use the new Super Mario Bros. Wii Ghost House theme, like, always in general. It does go pretty hard. Unfortunately, like, Mass Attack never does anything for us at all here. You know, that part's a little unfortunate, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, Hopeless. Have you considered having a little bit of hope? Sangre de Sancho? Mm. Do we do that? We probably don't win that. We 
We really don't even need to, like, worry about, like, reducing Pip's ego, do we? Because, like, okay, we lost a Clash here before she did. That's really annoying. I'd really rather not die, if I'm being honest. And I'd really like to land a hit. I mean, Sandy gain you've gotten already is really scary just because of some really unlucky clashes we've gotten. Well, we saw her to Sancho that, though, so we're not taking, like, the scary mass attack thingy. I don't think we're breaking Pip's Ego at all here, though, and we've done, like, nothing as far as Bleed's concerned, because this is the only hit we've landed so far, and this might be the only thing we land if we just get fully evaded, which we might, because, like, Mirror Dungeon hard, like, defense level bonuses are scary. Yeah, that's 17. She'd need to roll Tails, and because she's winning clashes, uh, normally having some We land a Skullbuster, though, so that's nice. There's a bit of Pip's Ego dropped. That's good, at least. Okay, we don't want you getting hit by that. That's a dominating ghoul. The chances we lose that anyways and die are pretty good, I want to say. Okay. That's really annoying. <laughs> like, I, I know it's like... Because Otis is like staggered or whatever, but like, does not make it any less annoying. That you've decided to give, like, Hong Lu that speed slot, or skill slot, mixing up speed dice and skill slot again, who would have thought? First time that's ever happened. Well, you're healing up thanks to your, you know, convenient, you know, Blood Fiend-esque abilities that say nothing about your actual character. Cool. Yeah, this is, this is really... And I mean really stupid. Like, why? I'm pretty sure this is something that, like, happened when they were messing with, like, chain battles, right? Like, they broke some, like, they pressed, like, the big switch that says do not press. And then they were like, hmm, wonder what that did. And now, because of that hook, Hong Lu is, has been stealing from, you know, Otis. That's fine. You may, uh... Have much protection, but, uh, bleed. I'm not really super scared, but if you win a clash, you're just gonna end up taking more damage for it. So, by all means, go ahead. Yeah, it's unfortunate, though, because, you know, you're not taking, like, any damage because of the protection. But that's fine. We're getting a good bit of scissors stacked up. If you can get, like, another skill 2 or something off this turn, that could be nice. We are, okay, cool. Love to see that echoing cry, that's fine. I think we want people... Is it with or without Primark to deal with this? Does not have... Okay, so we want people with Primark to be dealing with that, that's fine. That's like... It's only you, what? Oh, it's because we... St oh, yeah, the stagger. That actually is kind of ruining us, isn't it? Well, that's fine, we'll live. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're still clashing here, actually. Okay, that's good to know. Well, we do- we are at 20 feast now, so as soon as we win this clash, we do put on the mask. Or 20, uh, city plates, I mean. You know what I mean, probably. Heal up a little bit, that's nice. Your healing is capped, so, you know, you can only heal so much, but still nice. Yeah, we're winning a couple clashes, you know. The way Gossipium difference is really palpable a lot of the times, you know, 18 offense and defense level down. And, like, that sure is like a s negative 6 to clashing relatively, right? So it's a little bit. It's just a little bit. Okay, final phase, though. You're gonna start countering us here, which, I mean, could be bad. Theoretically speaking. You're gonna use the slowest, or is it the wrong speed order? Okay, it's the right speed order. Oh, we're at max blood feast. Yeah, you can really tell, uh... I'm not sure exactly how it skills, but, like, the more blood feast, the more bloody the floor is, right? It's a funny little effect. I like it. It's cool. Cool beans. And I know a thing or two about beans that are pretty cool. We can get a big lust res, that's nice. Actually, we want to really lean into the bit we could, like, contempt awe lifetimes do this mm. not bad let's see the enhanced rising plus one keys contempt okay yeah so that should be fine it shouldn't be too much 
to make you debuff next turn, so that's nice. We're getting contempt all mileage out here, right? That's a tan. Okay. I shouldn't speak, should I? That's fine. It's still it's still doing good. It's still doing good. You know, look at this whopping 15 bleed potency. We got heads on the second queen, at least. That's the one that looks really raw. 37 damage, that's fine. You've got some shields, and this counter shouldn't be too bad. Even if you are, you know, fatal pierce, you're still chilling. Gripping's nice, we can get that, you know. So you're gonna take more damage next turn, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't affect slash attack, so like Barbara Otis, who's. Barbara Otis was supposed to be the focus of this run, by the way. I think I've derailed a little bit. It's still, like, mechanically, that's still, like, the focus of the run. But, like, I've definitely been very, uh. Confused, you could say, I wanna say. Not confused, it's more so, like, mentally, like. Clouded, I guess. I don't know. But, anyways, Otis isn't being countered, so that's what matters. Otis staggers. Otis actually might just kill. Theoretically, maybe, right? Because she's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, she does kill. Well, that's a, them a thematic, so the cinematic finisher. Yeah, 636 damage against a single target. Not bad, you know? In fights where you can actually get, uh. Fights where you can actually get her. Scissor Blade's up, she can do a lot for you. Yeah, she did most of the damage, as you'd expect. Unfortunately, Hong Lu stole, you know, her skill slot at the end there. Was a bit rude. I'm pretty sure it's not intended, but I think it's something that's happened as of late. That's fine. Go to window, do not claim yet. I almost claimed, like, instinctively, but no, we're supposed to save this for when the update actually rolls out later. Right? That's the plan. Turn the BGM back on. Oh, right, I... Why did, I pro why did I do- why didn't I just- okay, I don't know. I don't know with me today, especially, right? Yeah, this was an episode where we were trying to focus on Barbara Otis and, uh... A couple of things happened, just here and there, right? You know, it's- it's only natural. But anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and i see you guys next time. Bye!